and proud that we won. Uh, you know, it wasn't easy, it wasn't perfect. UMass Lowell gave us all that we could handle, and that's certainly a credit and a testament to them just in their second year as a varsity program. Give those guys a ton of credit. But uh, we got a resilient group in the locker room here too. And uh, from from 0-3 to just, you know, it's kind of dealing with with some tough adversity just being 0-3. You know, you gotta look at your guys and do we have the upper class leadership to make sure that we kind of respond appropriately to some of those circumstances. And, uh, you know, to, today's answer was yes. I'm just proud of the way the guys battled throughout. Uh, what sparked it was just hard work plays. People were just diving. Uh, we really collected and came together as a team at halftime. And uh, we just knew we weren't gonna let this one get away from us. We've had a lot of close games over the past few weeks. And uh, we knew if we could just out ground ball them and out hustle them, we would come away with the win. I hope so. I mean, the you know, we, we just got into March 1st, right? So, you know, one of the crazy things about college lacrosse nowadays is, you know, we're 0-3, we're but we really hadn't been out of February. And, and people sometimes expect you to be playing at, 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 at your, your May level, uh, you know, really during the preseason. So we use all these things as just learning experiences and hope that we can, we can build off of each one of our performances. Uh, you know, the guys needed to, to taste and enjoy winning today. Uh, and, and certainly the hope is that we can, we can progress in the right direction from here.